name is CJ Zishik. I'm vaping and venting. I wasn't going to do a podcast today, but I decided I had to after watching Kanye West and Donald Trump in the Oval Office. That's a sentence I never thought I'd say. That's a sentence that this country doesn't deserve me speaking out loud. It was like a big, crazy bomb landed on the White House and just fucking exploded. I mean, it is so obvious to me that Kanye West is a person who has severe bipolar disorder and is having a high right now and is off his meds. Um, I know a lot about bipolar disorder. I've had a lot of people in my life with it. Uh, it's nothing to make a, make a joke out of. Um, Kanye West is talented and creative. And guess what? When you're off your meds like that, the last place that you should be is speaking on camera in the Oval Office. I mean, he wants to make music. Go ahead. Be in the studio. Drop your albums. Have people listen to them. Fine. But you know what? He's off his meds. And when you have bipolar, you have highs and you have lows. When you have lows, it's kind of like you have depression. You're sad, you want to be alone, you want to be away from your friends, you don't show up to work. And Kanye doesn't really have many lows. He's actually explained this on um, a couple of late night talk shows. What he has is more highs. Um, highs include feeling like you're on top of the world and nothing can get you. And you just feel like everybody loves you and you're right and everybody's wrong. Um, that's when people go on benders. They either go like become shopaholics or they like spend all their money at casinos because they feel like they can't lose and usually it gets them into a lot of trouble and that's when they start taking their meds because they cannot deal with their life on their own. It's just not working out for them. And unfortunately, Kanye West has a lot of money and things probably will work out for him, but that does not mean that we have to stick him in a meeting in the Oval Office, one that should be respected and taken with true seriousness, okay? I mean, there's so many black people in this world that are educated and capable and knowledgeable that would have been great to sit there and talk about the things that actually matter in that community, like prison reform and like um, the stop and frisk law and, you know, poverty in the, in the communities. I, I would love to see that and I would love to hear out um, people in those areas and I hope that people realize that, you know, that are actually listening to Kanye and thinking that he, what he says matters and that, that, they, that people, that they should actually follow him and like Donald Trump. I would love them to hear just please listen to me and we are listening. We are truly listening. Donald Trump's not listening. Kanye West was invited there because he's all of a sudden supporting him and he wore his MAGA hat on SNL and he likes to go against the grain and piss people off. And he was invited there to stroke Trump's ego. And he was there, Kanye, because he loves the attention. The two of them are a perfect match. They're both completely narcissistic. They're voyeuristic, they are self-centered, they think that everybody's wrong and they are right and they're pathologically insane. And that is true. I mean, that I believe from the, the heart of my heart of heart that to be a fact. I think they're both clinically insane. What he said today, what Kanye said today, he said that, oh, this MAGA hat, it's magical. It, it brings me magic powers. I feel like uh, nothing can happen to me wearing this hat. And he said that it, it brings him back to a time that he's playing ball with his dad because he feels like a man in that hat. And it makes him feel like Superman. I mean, these are fucking crazy statements said. Again, I just can't believe this. This is in the Oval Office with the President of the United States. Not to mention on a day that thousands of people died. I mean, excuse me, not died. Thousands of people lost their homes from this hurricane down south. Maybe people did die. So far, the numbers are not um, recorded yet. But I'm telling you that people will die after the fact. A lot of people died after the hurricanes because they don't have the means to sustain their lives anymore. And Trump was in the Oval Office with a fucking rapper who's out of his freaking mind instead of down there supporting and helping these people that are losing everything that they own. It's just absolutely disgusting. And Kanye was sitting there saying things that just made no sense, that time doesn't even exist anymore. And I know these statements. I've been around bipolar people that are on high. This is, this is a prime example of somebody that is off their meds and is at that state. And it 
will, if they keep going that way, their life will suffer. But unfortunately, like I said before, Kanye will be fine. Well, hopefully he won't. But he might just be fine. Um, and he actually might have supporters, which is very, very sad. So far online, I've seen none. And let's keep it that way, okay? So anybody, like a black, young black person, if you feel like you want to follow him, you, you feel like no one's listening, we are listening, okay? We are, okay? Donald Trump is just using you to get more votes. And having Kanye in that office was just a big campaign scheme. It's just all to get more votes. You think that he's actually listening to what Kanye is saying and trying to follow what he says and is taking him seriously? He is not taking him seriously. He just wants more supporters. That's all he ever wants. And that's why he wasn't at the hurricane yesterday and today is because it wouldn't do anything for him. What will do something for him is this, televising him with a rapper. That's what he thinks is going to work. This was a disgusting display of 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 two narcissistic attention junkies facing each other. I mean, this was worse than I, I can't even I can't even put the words to it. It's so disgusting. I've always hated Kanye West. I've always thought he's a douchebag, but I mean, I just really do feel that he's only doing this just because he likes to be different and go against the grain. I mean, he was sitting there saying they were trying to scare me not to wear this hat. He'll just do anything if, if it's not, if it goes the other way. So if everyone's saying, Kanye, wear these shoes, he'll purposely wear these shoes. So we should probably at this point say to him, hey, we love Trump. And then he probably will go, I hate Trump. Okay, it's the same thing with Trump. If you tell Trump to like something, he will go the other way. Hey, Trump, we all love when you hate black people and you're racist and you hate Jews. And we all love when you go on these Twitter uh, tyrants. We love it. He probably will actually put the phone down and will, might actually have some dignity. Which I think that we are doing, we are shaming him too much. If we actually said what he was doing was good, he would definitely go the other direction. That's just who he is. Anyway, that was just a disgusting display of anything I've ever seen. And I would just wish that Trump could actually have someone in the Oval Office that represents more of us. Who the fuck does Kanye West represent? A couple of black rappers? I'm sorry. And they don't even agree with him. So who does he really represent? How about have someone like me, okay? Just a regular white girl, okay? I'm sorry to even say that, but a regular white girl, and I wanna go into the Oval Office and I wanna tell him how much I hate him and what I don't like about him, and then we can actually talk about things and maybe we could actually come to some agreements. Maybe he could listen to me and say, how could I help you? How can I make you like me? What can I do for you? How can I make your life better? You should have people from all different walks of life. It's not some crazy fucking psycho rapper that's off of his meds. It's just not a depiction of who we are. And I'm sick of Trump dealing with people that just are not representative, not a good representation of who we are. That's not my America. That is not how I grew up. Okay, well, that's enough. I'm getting really, really heated. <laughs> Hold on. All right, well, please leave some comments for me down here um, and email me at CJZ on TV at Gmail if you have anything you want to say or if you want me to talk about any specific topic. And thank you so much for tuning in. And honestly, for anyone who disagrees with me and wants to follow Kanye West, if you don't have any role models to look up to, if you think that nobody is hearing you, okay, I promise there are so many people that will hear you. And if you email me, I'll give you tons of of places to join and people that will listen to you and will your needs might actually be met especially if we actually have a, a democratic president soon or if we get the house back which we will okay thank you for tuning in see you next time bye bye